This is a quick video following a question sent to me by a viewer. Uh, they were concerned with how their calculator was representing different numbers. So they were typing in 0.03 squared and it was coming up with this answer 9e to the minus 4. Now 9e to the minus 4 is simply the calculator's way of writing 9 times 10 to the minus 4. It's the same thing which of course is equal to 0 0.0009. So that's just the way that it represents it. But of course, it's not necessarily too helpful to show things in that way. Thankfully, there is a way around this. If we go into the setup, which appears above the menu, so shift and setup, here we've got all the different ways that we can change how it's representing numbers and things. And the answer to the question is how do we change that? We need to run all the way down very near the bottom until we get to display. And we've got four different options here and they all do slightly different uh, things. Norm is what we're actually usually using, normal mode. Um, and there are two different versions, norm one and norm two, and these can just be cycled through by pressing uh, the button below norm F3 there. So norm one is what we had, and of course that's given that answer. If we, we can press all the way down if we want, or we can actually cycle around by pressing up from the top. We go straight down to the bottom, so we go into the uh, second to last one, display. Norm two, in this case, doing the same calculation, is gonna give us the more usual decimal version. And some playing around between the two can show you which one's right. The other modes, though, do some other interesting things. So if we go into fixed mode, fixed actually tells us the number of decimal places that we'll allow. So we might specify something like uh, four decimal places. So it comes up with fix four coming out of there. Well, it doesn't make a difference for that one, of course. But if we type something in like pi, press the F to D button at the bottom there, uh, bottom of your screen anyway, um, then it will show us pi to four decimal places. And of course it's rounding as appropriate. So that's what fix does. Going into um, psi mode, what this does is it specifies the number of significant digits. So not decimal places, but significant digits. If I change that one to four and we do the same thing, we get pi and change it into the decimal mode, it's giving us four significant figures. And it is giving times 10 to the zero, not massively helpful in this particular case, but obviously for larger calculations where you've got uh, big numbers, you may want to use this mode. And then the last one, engineering mode, what this does is you can apply this to, um, whoops, you can apply this to each of the different operations. Okay, I'll do it in normal mode. So applying engineering, and what this does is it puts units in. So if we do something like the original question, 0.03 squared, what it's doing is it's doing 900 mu, which of course represents different units. And as we change through to the different powers and things, we're gonna change the different units. Uh, so it's microns and uh, nanometers, I think. Uh, engineering isn't my strong point, but you can see what it's doing. So essentially the answer to the question is, by playing around with these different display parts, usually we're in norm mode. I wouldn't have engineering on myself. Um, so norm one is the way that you would usually do your calculations, but you may want to play around with them. And depending on the different problems, you may want to do fixed or scientific mode uh, to solve the problem. Hopefully that answers the question.